For those of you who have heard about license plate recognition cameras and maybe wondered what they are and what they look like, I'm here in Seattle videotaping the set that's on this repo truck so you can get an idea of what they look like and a little bit about them. And uh, this truck, like I said, belongs to a repo company. These are on the front bumper, as you can obviously tell by the GMC logo. And they're actually about seven inches wide, six inches deep. And then these are being held on by magnets for magnet mount. Uh, about, I believe, 90 pounds is what the, uh, the pull rate on those is for holding it to the truck. And uh, as you see, you have two half moon lenses on the left and the right. Those are the infrared lenses for night vision, for lighting up the camera where it's looking at. It throws an infrared red light as you're going down the freeway and it passes you or you pass them. It lights up the license plate so the camera can read it. Now, the rectangular square in the center with the two round circles, the one on the left is for the camera that you use during the day. The one on the right, you can use at night. And uh, you can use either one, both, but one works better, obviously, than the other, depending on weather conditions and, and stuff like that. These cameras, as you see, have a uh, plug coming out the back of them that goes back to a data pack. It's commonly referred to as a brick. And that brick processes the camera, all the information, the license plate, and sends it to your laptop where it shows the license plate and sometimes even a variation of your license plate. If your license plate had a zero or an O in it, but it's actually a Q and the camera doesn't always pick up that little tail on the Q, so it'll display it and show you which one and then you pick out uh, the correct one. A lot of times it's not too hard to tell just by looking at the picture. The software doesn't always read what the picture shows, but it's pretty close. Now these cameras here, one is a 25 footer I believe and another one is 16 footer which means that it can read license plates either 25 feet away or up to 25 feet away or 16. The cameras don't look any different, it's what the data pack and the sensitivity of the camera itself is. They make them to go up to 200 feet and a lot of cities in their highway control signs for the speed limit and stuff like that, the new LED signs, use these as you drive under them. They record your license plate and they send it uh, for the city. Uh, depends on the city and how their system is set up. But uh, sends it into their database where they have it. Now, even on this truck, like I said, a repo truck, they use them for people who drive by whose car might be out for repossession, failure to pay, or uh, defaulted on their loan and they're in another part of the country. This camera can pick it up and it'll send up a warning to the, the laptop showing a red flashing border and showing the license plate and letting you know that, hey, somebody's looking for this. Now, the other part about this that you should know about is the fact that Although the repo company or the company that's running these would have that information, if these cameras happen to scan a vehicle of somebody that they're looking for, uh, you hear a lot about Amber Alerts and the Amber Alert system. And if your car or your van or your vehicle has been put into the system for an amber alert and this truck happens to scan it, it automatically goes to the FBI or whoever, Homeland Security. I prefer to call them Homeland Insecurity because we're all considered terrorists until we're proven not to be. Anyway, the camera goes into the federal database and their position, where you are, your coordinates, the GPS coordinates show up in their system the operator of the cameras and the system here wouldn't have ac have access rather to that information. So there's room for a lot of abuse. Now if this gentleman's driving down the road and somebody else, another repo company, or somebody is looking for a vehicle that his cameras happen to hit, they are sent an email. That company rather is sent an email. And the same thing if 
there was an Amber Alert out for a child that's been kidnapped, an email would automatically go to whatever agencies put it into their system to find it. And like I said, GPS coordinates comes up, tells exactly which direction you were going, what the time was, the whole nine yards. But if another company is out there and they're looking for a car that his cameras happen to have, uh, hit rather, and that gentleman looks at the picture and decides he wants to buy the picture, this company gets paid. Imagine that. Now, think of what it would be like if everybody that's running these cameras got paid to help find people that they consider gun owners or people who believe in the Constitution. There are so many abuses already taking place, but if you're put into the database of somebody who's a terrorist because you believe in the right to life, the right to own and bear arms, you believe in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, or you're even a Ron Paul supporter or a political party supporter that they disagree with, you can be put into the system as a terrorist if these cameras hit it, well, then they kind of have an idea of where you are, and they're going to start looking for you in that area. They'll notify their current office of whoever has put you into their database, which once you're in, you can't get out. Which is my other reason for videotaping these. I will be posting a video later on of a car that these have, or that these are on, rather, for the same company. And he just his job is to just drive around and drive through parking lots, drive through shopping malls, covered parking garages, anywhere that you can park and publicly access or go into. Uh, you drive home and park your car in an over uh, overnight parking garage. Uh, if he can get in there, he'll record your license plate because it's public information and uh, it goes into their database. Now, if it's a car they're looking for, it'll come up. But they only have access to the database showing the cars that they're been put out for repossession. I have to apologize for the noise. This is down in an industrial park, but it's also the approach to SeaTac Airport. And this being August 2nd, the Blue Angels are in town because we have a big festival the first Sunday of August, which is called Sea Fair. And they come into town and they practice twice a day for three days before Sea Fair. And uh, that's what you just heard was them taking off for their first practice, I believe. It's either that or they just showed up. They usually show up about the Tuesday or Wednesday. Any event, getting back to this. I wanted you to have an idea as to what these look like. These can go in any vehicle. They're easy to camouflage. They do come with hard mounts if you want to hard mount them. And uh, these are the same camera that uh, a lot of law enforcement, these are popular with law enforcement down in Florida. In fact, in Florida, they use them if you have a parking ticket and a repo company down there or even some tow companies run these depending on what part of the country you're in if your license plate gets hit and you got several parking tickets or any kind of an infraction and you're in their database it flags law enforcement now, again this is in Florida and uh, they send somebody out to impound your car and uh, come knock on your door at the time if they can find out where you're at what business you're in. So anyway, thank you for watching. Again, there'll be more video updated showing you these a little bit more and some of the other vehicles they can be put on. And hopefully this has been informative. And again, I apologize for the, no the noise. And uh, thanks for watching.